Welcome back to PHP 101. In this video or this lesson, we're going to be talking about get variables. So you may have noticed if we come up here to the URL pair, you may have noticed sites where they have at the end of it a little question mark and then it says something like name equals John or something along those lines. What this is up here is these are essentially uh, URL parameters that you that that in PHP they get they get automatically added to a super what's called a super global um, or a system array call, that is this get variable that we're going to be taking a look at. So what it allows you to do is actually access these URL parameters and do something with them inside of PHP. Now this isn't really the standard way that you're going to do a lot of your post uh, passing of information back and forth between pages. We'll get into post array in the next video um, or the post super global, but uh, and that's the main way that you're going to do this. But this is uh, used in certain things. For example, the the place you'll often see this is in some sort of search. So you may have a parameter like this where it says s equals and then whatever search term was entered into the form. So search term like this. Or another place you may see it is if you're inside logged in somewhere, you may see something like u equals one o or 124. And this is your user ID. And so then it's it, that's how it knows that you're that user and it's pulling information from the database based off of that. Or if you've seen like WordPress, you maybe see something like P equals 34. That's the post, the ID of the post, again, pulling it from the database and so forth. And that's how it knows what post you're on. And then it can pull the data for that post and load it into the template. So there are uses for this. And so I'm going to show you how to use these. For our example, let's just go ahead and set name equals John. And we'll actually go to that page. Now, this isn't going to do anything right now because we haven't written any code to handle the get variables, but you'll see everything else loads just fine. So it doesn't affect anything like that. And then if we come down here and we simply just print out this get variable, a super global. So you see it's dollar sign, underscore, and then capital G E T. So if we print that out, and you notice I haven't set this anywhere, I haven't done anything. All I've done is put the URL parameter up here and then printed out our get. So you can see here, this is now in an array for us. So it's something, you know, it's very handy for us to be able to use and, and work with this. So again, very straightforward. Um, it, it's an array just like any other array. So you can go ahead and, and use it just like you would any other way. Now, if we add parameters, so let's say we want to have multiple parameters, we could do and email equals john at something.com. So if we do that, you can see that that's now added to our array here. So again, it's just grabbing all of these URL parameters that you see here. All right. So as I mentioned, one of the things that this might be used for is say some sort of search. So let's go ahead and just do a quick little form and I can show you kind of how this works. So if we come down here and let's just create a form and when you create a form, you can specify the method and the method can be get or it can be post. Okay. And so that determines then which one of these super globals you're going to find your variables in. Again, most often you're going to use post. But in this particular case, we're using get. So we'll just put get. Um, and then you would specify an action, which is the URL that you're going to send that information to. In here, you could either just leave this off or leave it blank like this, and it'll repost it back to the same page. So that's what we want to do. Now, if you had a processing script, say it like process.php, then you could specify that. Um, again, in our case, we'll just leave it blank like this. All right, so that gets us the start of a form here. And then inside our form, we'll have just a simple, we'll have a label and we'll say enter search term like this. And then in here, we'll have an input uh, type equals, in this case, we can, we can put search since it's going to be a search. Now this is an HTML thing, but that'll in uh, many browsers specifying a type of search as opposed to text 
we'll add additional functionality to it that's helpful for searching like um, a history autocomplete stuff like that so uh, you can if you want to make a more useful search box you can use search here but that's not really PHP the name of this then we'll set to s for search and we'll go ahead and leave that just like that so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up here just a little bit and all right so we have this here and I need to obviously because we're still in PHP I need to end it like this and let's go ahead and do print our on our get variables here like this all right and so that should give us uh, a little form that we can submit and get some information on all right so if we enter in our and actually I have a thing clear down here we can get rid of but if we enter in our search term here then let's just do say for example Yoast since we have Yoast in here do that you see that then we have our array s is Yoast and if we come up here we'll see that up here s equals Yoast so search equals Yoast so then we could query our database for that search term based off of what we found in here so our code right here could handle all of that so uh, another thing we could do here is then come up here and we could say echo and we could do now I'm gonna do single here P and then your search term is and then we can do dot and we can do get s all right so we're getting again what our search term is so you can again it's an array so you can call out or you can pull out certain elements from that array uh, just like you could any other array so you can see here your search term is Yoast and so oftentimes what you'll do is you'll value equals you'll echo the search term actually in the value block so it's it populates our box here so get s like this and we'll refresh that one more time and you see it's in our box here all right so uh pretty straightforward one other thing that you would want to do here then is if we go here and let's just get rid of our search term here for a second and go to this page you'll notice that even though we have nothing up there we're still getting this box that says your search term is well that's kind of that's kind of ugly right because we don't want that to show unless there's actually a search term entered so what what you'll often want to do almost pretty much always want to do with uh, get variables is you want to create some sort of if statement so in this case we'll do if and we'll do is set so we're going to see if get s our search term is set and if it is then we're going to display uh, our little we're going to display this here and so we'll come come down here and we'll close that like that move this over so it's looks a little better and so then when we have no search term entered it's not there but if we again enter a search term you'll see that now it shows up so oftentimes that's what you're going to do um, when you're when you're doing something like this you want to check to make sure that the the variable that you're after and get uh, is is set so that you can actually make sure it's there and, and use it you also could check the whole array so you could do if not empty and just do the whole get array like this so now we're checking to see if the array itself has anything in it not a specific element but just anything and uh, if it does then we're going to display so you can see we have uh, our Yoast displayed there again if we get rid of this there's nothing in there so that goes away so again some stuff that you can do you you almost well you always pretty much want to check to make sure that the variable you're grabbing from a parameter is set also because this is often user submitted data you of course want to make sure that you're escaping your data that you're if you're querying a database that you are protecting against 
uh, SQL injection attack. So either using prepared statements or doing uh, some sort of checking along those lines to make sure that your your site's not getting hacked and so forth. So again, that's using get variables inside of PHP.